And welcome to Smart Brain Mind Blowing Game Classic Challenges Level 1. Which is the largest animal? Let's start with the easy one. Tap on the lion, though it appears small on the screen. It's the largest animal among the three. Congratulations, this was an easy one, but the next one won't be. Which of the following is nearest to Earth? Well, let's take a hint for this one. You can always tap here for clues. It's level two. The sun is nearest the word Earth. So we tap on the sun. Level three, change the direction of the sunflower. What if we just drag the sun over there? Level four, tap the cow to pass this level. Okay, just drag this thing out of the way with your finger and then tap on the cow. Excellent, you make it look so easy. Once again, which one is the largest? One. Looks like the lion is, right? No. Clicking on a lion, one, M O U S T. C A T. Ah, just drag them out of the way. And there's an elephant behind there. Very clever. Level six, nine months to deliver the baby. Can you make it quicker? Just tap on the, like the July, the month at the top of the calendar there. And it's it over. Oh, that little baby got tears in the eyes. Level seven, extinguish the fire. Okay, so drag the drops, hey. Drag the drops into there and then drop it onto the fire. So you drag them all together to get a bigger one. Admit it, that was pretty lit. <laughs> Let's see, rebuilt the dog. Tap this icon to skip the level. I don't want to skip the level though. I want to rebuilt the dog. That goes there. It's hard to see where you're dragging it because of the uh, Goes in the tail there. All right, so here's obviously a little foot there. Here's a little foot there. Um, it's kind of a challenging one here. It looks like this goes right over there. The ears up there. Uh, what's gonna be that part? It looks like that's the only thing that fit right there. And then that's going to go there. That goes there, 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 and there. Okay. Woohoo, we did it. That was kind of a tough one there. It says, help rescue the boy. All right, we got uh, this guy falling down here. What if I switch places? Just drag him over and put him with the other guy. And it just switches places. Phew, the boy says thanks. You're a hero. And level 10, help organize the pencil box. Okay. No, that's not how it goes, huh? Put the pencil into the sharpener. There we go. And then put it in there. All right. So you just drag it up into the pencil sharpener first and then drag those items into the thing. 11. Look at the image carefully and press continue. Okay. Which two were the same color? 
Which two are the same animals? There we go. That's a tough one. Attention level ninja. All right, guys. Level 12. Solve this maze. Okay, just press on the little corresponding buttons there to steer through the maze. Got to kind of be a little careful. Slowly working our way around. It's easy just to tap them a little bit. There we go. Wow, oh, that was really quick. I do try. Okay, level 13. Can you find the five differences? Okay, so tap the bottom uh, picture where there's extra stuff on there. So the cloud's right there. The sun has a different face. Uh, the little snail is turned around backwards. Uh, there's a couple apples on top of the hedgehog. And what else is there? Oh, there's a little fish by the penguin there. Wow, you did it in a breeze. Level 14, can you wake the puppy up? There we go, just tap on the two pipes and it blocks them up. And then the water goes onto the puppy. Level 15, burst blue and red balloons. Well, there's a blue one. And there's, just drag the pink one into the yellow to make red? The pink and yellow was like orange or something. Anyways, thanks for watching. Level 16, where's the genie? All right, so you just rub back and forth with your finger on the lamp and the genie appears. What are your three wishes, hmm? Let's play a game. Don't click on a green thing. Go. One plus seven equals eight. Don't click on a green thing. So we're gonna do the check mark. Click from left to right. Okay, there we go. Aha, uh -huh, you're puzzled, right? It's really tricky. Which number is opposite to four on a dice? Tap these icons to change the number of the bulbs, then tap the submit button. Okay, so the opposite on a four. Interesting. Hmm. How am I supposed to find out what the opposite of a four is? They all add up to six, right? No, that can't be right. They all add up to seven. Six and one, four and three. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. Did you check the dice for the answer? No, I didn't. Tap on a total of 11 cats. There's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Some of those I think aren't cats, the ones that don't have the ears. So just tap on the ones that have the make sure they have all the ears and then add them up to eleven. Level twenty. Rebuilt this food truck. Alright, so we have wheels, obviously they go there. There's the door. Uh burgers up on the top. That just drag that up there, menu next to that, and then this is on the top of the truck there. All right, just pick up the ride. Number 21 level, tap the objects in this sequence. Red, blue, red, red, blue, red. Red, blue, red, red, blue, red. Okay, red, blue, red, red, blue, red. <laughs> nice work, thank you. Level 22. Can you find the mit sake here? The mit 
mistake is mis mistake misspelled. So tap on that word right there. Wow, that's how you proof me. All right, level 23, use arrow to hit the apple. Um, let's see, you should just, that's too far over. All right, hit. No, it misses. Okay, so let's aim at the word apple and fire away. There we go. Congratulations, you make it so easy. He lost his phone three hours ago. Can you help him find it? Let's move back the clock, shall we? Just put your finger on the shorthand there, and it's uh, five, four, one, two, three. There we go. There we go. It's a clock. It's going back. That was pretty savvy. Well done. All right, level 25. Don't let the balloons touch the spikes. So they're rising up there. Um, so the spikes can be moved, but just don't let them touch. So just tap on the balloons. And it pops the balloons and they won't touch them. That's why balloons hate pop music. Level 26. Can you find the panda? There it is in the about middle. About middle uh, line and all the way to the right hand side. One one column over. So right there. Great job. Did you pan the eyes across the screen? Level 27, rearrange letters for the correct sequence. All right, so you can drag these, but it doesn't work. So there's just the bottom of the F or the E, just drag that over to the F behind it and attach it there. Sometimes even simple things seem difficult. Okay, level 28, tap the screen to continue. So we got a deer, a lamb, a cat, and a bear. Tapping the screen. Deer, lamb, bear, and which of the animal was not present earlier? It was the bunny rabbit. So tap on the bunny. Woohoo, guessed it right. Count the total number of stars. Okay, just drag that one over the other one, and it looks like we got three. Hmm, so you got the trick. Alright, fill in the blanks. Level 30. Um, these numbers don't go anywhere. So grab the word, fill in the blanks, and just drag it down there. You're getting good at these puzzles. How many days to cut the entire cloth? A sailor has a 16 feet long fabric. If he cuts two feet of fabric every day, in how many days will he cut the entire cloth? Um, seven? Submit. There we go. Yes. You have some serious reasoning skills. Let's play a game. Don't follow the instructions. So, am I not supposed to tap continue? We're going to tap continue. Catch the ball. All right, so drag the guy up to not catch the ball. Help this dog eat bone. All right, let's run away from the bone. Right. So, figure it out. Yeah, I did. Try to hit the jackpot. 500,000. There we go. Just take your finger on the thing and rotate it around until it hits the 500,000. All right, guys. Can you find the seven differences? Okay, so the guy in the right looks like he's missing a hand here. So tap on the lower. I'm tapping on the lower picture. And there's a pumpkin up top, but there's no pumpkin down there. So there's a pumpkin missing. Um, the Frankenstein has missing a button on his shirt, so tap there. The blue guy's backwards, so tap there. The Grim Reaper's missing a hand, tap by his hand. The kid's missing a little skull on his shirt, tap there. And there's a little pumpkin in the background that's not that's there. Alright, this is a tough one. You nailed it. That was a tough one. All right, correct the equation. Three, 
nine minus six equals, oh, 39 minus six equals 27. Six minus nine equals twenty-seven. There we go. You're pure genius. Protect this puppy from the rain. Okay. Can't move the cloud. Doesn't look like we move the puppy. So how do we stop the rain? Can't tap on it. Okay. So all right. Drag the word protect. And put it on the puppy, and it protects the puppy. That's impressive. You're getting better at this. Let's see if you can find the pig. Wow, this is a tough one. They all kind of look similar here. I'm looking for a nose, like a pig nose. And look, oh, here we go. Red one. Uh, look at the middle of the picture, and then to the left, about halfway, and then up a little bit. Right there. All right. How many numbers are there in the image? All right, I see a one. That could be a two. I mean, how close are we looking here? That could be a three if you take the sides away. And a four. Seven, eight, nine, and zero. So that's ten, right? I'm gonna guess with ten. There we go. Okay. Help James withdraw cash using the credit card. All right. So we should just be able to put his card in there. But it doesn't work. So what's wrong? It doesn't have anything written on it. Uh, so, all right. Here's the word credit card. Drag that down to his credit card. And then we have a number there. And then take that in there, enter it into there. Out comes the cash. Cha -ching. James is raking the moolah. Raking in the moolah. All right, divide apples in such a way that each one gets an apple and one apple remains in the basket. Okay, so I just drag these apples up to the guys, but now we have one left and it has to remain in the basket. Well, let's drag the whole basket up there, right? There we go. Okay. Took a couple times, guys, and then finally got over there, but I just keep dragging it to the guy, and then it works. I was thinking I wasn't doing it right, so it was smart brain the apple of your eyes. Turn up the phone's volume. You didn't get it on the first try, did you? So just take your phone and click your up volume button on your phone. Okay, balance the seesaw. We got 10 kg there and 20 kg. So. There we go, just take everybody off and it's balanced. Oh, that's good. Just drag them off of there. Help the boys skate across the road. Wonder. All right, hit start. And just put your finger over the gap. So I put my finger on the gap as soon as I hit the start button and he's able to skate across. Smart is the word for you. Okay, fill and overflow the bucket with water. All right, so we tap a little spigot there and it looks like it's putting mm. water in, but not enough. So we need a smaller bucket then, right? So let's just pinch that bucket together. Just put your fingers on it and smoosh it. And then tap the uh, spigot there and it overflows. There we go. Seems like you're smarter and you're 
Seems like getting smarter is on your bucket list. Quick, need your help to make a milkshake. Okay, so let's get some milk. And then drag a couple apples in there. And then drag that in there. And then shake your phone. There we go. So I gotta drag those in there and then shake your phone. Plant all the trees. All right, so there's one. Let's just put the ground there. All right, let's just drag them up there and then move this one off the side there. And then drag these ones up there. There we go. Your hero, plant trees, save the planet. Okay. Count the total number of bulbs. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then the one on the bottom is fourteen, right? Haha, <laughs> right. You didn't get it in the first try, did you? Yes, I did. Which game are you playing right now? Smart Brain. S-M-A-R-T. Smart Brain. That's right, it's your new beloved game. Let's see, can you guess the next letter? M-T-W-T. -T. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm going to guess an F. Oh, yeah. Impressive. Only a genius could have cracked that. Okay, so it's type 78361. So, 78. All right, it's not giving us the right numbers. So, okay, 2 is 7. Uh, 9 is 0. 0 is 3. 7 is 6. 1 is 5. 3 is 1. Where's 8? 6 is 8. And then we need a 3. <sighs> 0 is 3. <sighs> Okay, where's my six? Seven is six, and three is one, so. Good night, that was tricky. Might be easier just to like write it down or whatever. Time for the hacker man pose. Kick the ball in the net to score. That net's pretty small, let's drag on it to make it bigger. Swipe out on both sides, and then swipe up on the ball to get it in there. You got some skills, bend it like Beckham. On your mark, get set, go. Just tap on the word go and they start running. Mm -hmm. That was easy. Guess who won the race? I don't know. Correct this equation for the answer. 102 minus 1 equals 99. Well, 101 minus 2 equals 99. Um, it's not looking like it's letting me drag that there. Um, okay, so how about we take the little 2 and put it up there at the top. That makes 10 times 10 is 100 minus 1 equals 99. Okay, so take that little 2 and drag it up there. That was a tough one. Okay, uh, turn off all the lights. All right, well, there's a switch there. Tap that. Tap the other switch. It turns it off. And this other one's broken, so... I have to be tap the other light bulb. Nothing. Oh, just put your finger over the bulb to cover it, and that turns it off. Pure genius. Just place your finger on the on the bulb to cover it. Touch three numbers that make a total of a hundred. Okay, ninety-seven. And the two and the one. That's a hundred. Touch three numbers that make a total of a hundred. Okay. Uh, 60, 6, and 34. And then touch three numbers that make a total of 100. 25, 
45, 40. Um, all right, so none of these are fitting, so I'm going to guess it's the number 55 up for the level. So tap 55 for the level, and then 25 and 20. There we go. Well, there are three kinds of people in this world, those who can count and those who can't. What's the other kind? Find the touch me not plant. All right, so drag on this one. That one comes down, and then touch that plant. And even no one touches the cactus, does that mean it's a touch me not plant? Arrange all the eight balls in a way that containers have an odd number of balls. All right, there's no way you can fit eight and three and come up with the right one. So this one's looking a little small, so let's just drag it over there into that one. Then we can put five in one and then three in the other. We'll call it good. There we go. Wow, it's a tough one there. You have the finest ideas. Kill that zombie quick. All right, well, we have these little arrows. Let's drag the arrows over to the bow. Or the bolts, the crossbow, and tap the shoot button. That didn't work. So maybe if you gotta kill them, it's gonna be bigger. Drag those over there. All right, we're just gonna put our fingers on there and expand it so it's bigger. So swipe horizontally uh, wider. Okay, and then tap the shoot button. There we go. Now we're safe now. Okay, find the code in the room. There's a button there. That's not doing anything. Okay, uh, tap the red button there on that machine. Okay, there we got something going on. And maybe there's something on that board there. I don't see anything, so maybe the light's too bright, so tap on the light bulb there and it turns off and then you have what does that say nine three eight seven submit there we go okay kind of a tough one there i bet you must be the most creative in the room can you fix the car's wheel okay let's just take these screws off of that one and just drag them down there from that other car. I fixed the wheel, didn't I? Can you fix the car's wheel? Didn't I do it? I fixed it. Maybe they want them so they all have three in there. There we go. Okay. Three is better than that. I guess we have missing a lug nut on each tire, not really fixing it. Wow, that was quick. You fix it like a pro pit crew. What's the missing number in the circle? Well, guys, I've studied this one for quite a while, and I can't figure out why, but it is the number six. So uh, let me know in the comments if you know why it's number six. I have no idea why. I was trying to find a pattern and I just can't find it. Start the game. It's Mario. How do you start the game? Tap on there and press start. Oh, it looks like you're a pro player. So just tap on that thing and type in the word start. Well, here we go. Help the first plane win. So that's the yellow one, I imagine. It's going 20 kilometers an hour. The other one's going 12, and that one's going 25. So I imagine if we hit race now, uh, the red one's going to win. So how do we slow it down? Well, maybe if I put my finger on it and hit race now. That doesn't work. So i got to lower the... I'm just going to tap rub my finger back and forth on the five so it disappears and becomes a two then hit the race now and we see who's the fastest plane out there are you getting better at it all right make a hole in the paper so move the cloud swipe the cloud out of the way and the sun's there all right now get the magnifying glass 
put it in there, attach the handle, and then move that over the paper. Should burn a hole in it, right? There we go, okay. You gotta let go of the magnifying glass. I was trying to drag it there. So just dra uh, drag it there and let go in the middle of your hand and then it stops it there. Brilliant, you made Archimedes proud. Write down the correct answer. Zero equals four. Eight, two, three, two equals two. Four two zero four. I, all right, here's another weird one. Answer is four. I don't know why. If you know why in the comments, let me know. You get stuck in the loop. I have no idea. How many people are there on the bus? All right, so drag the top off of there. You just kind of separate it. Drag that top off. And then you can see uh, one, two, one, two, four, nine people. There we go. I wonder how easy, how you can make it look so easy. Find the route to solve this maze. All right, the little controls are backwards. So down is left. And up is right. Oh, we can't go down anymore. Okay, so I was going to try to go around. We're making it hard to steer here. Okay, let's see. Left is up. Up is right. Right is down. Up is left, right is down, up is l right, I'm sorry, left is up, down, no, up is right, left is up, up is right, right is down, up is right. Uh. Make it kind of hard. Left is up, and up is right. My goodness, that was. I was just trying to go around the outside, but that was pretty tricky. Okay, open the security door. Well, let's get their eyes in there, but they have glasses on, so let's move their glasses off. Just swipe down on their glasses and then move them close. Not him. Not him. There we go. And then to bring the guys up to the eye scan to make it sure you can see. Brilliant, make it look so easy. All right, can we rotate the copper wire? So we need a magnet that fits right there. And then if we drag a battery into the middle, there we go. Ah oh, yes, electromagnetic field, we got the concept. Fly the plane over the building. Okay, so we got the plane going along here. It says low high on there. Yeah, let's see here. The plane just doesn't want to fly over the building there. 
Okay. Tap on the sign. Tap low there. So tap on the sign that says hi and type in the word low. And there you go. The plane flies over the building. Yay, me. That's the heights of creative thinking. Okay, save the rabbit from the lion. No, you gotta hide. You gotta hide him. So, so smush the rabbit down. Just take your fingers and make him smaller, and then drag him behind the tree, and then let go with your hands. And phew, the little rabbit says thanks. Fill the jar up to the 40 milliliters. All right. So you just wait a little while, and it starts slowing down. And then you tap it when it's the red button when it's on the 40 line there. The Zen master skill. Where do you search stuff? Okay. I was going to go Google. G O. Oh, just tap the letter you want. G L E. Huh. Wow, 3.5 billion. All right, can you tell who's trying to escape the prison? I guess these guys are all prisoners. They got their little orange jumpsuits on. And this guy down here is suspicious. He's sitting down, uh, but he's painting with blue. So take the paintbrush and wipe it on his clothes there. And put it on his clothes and then let go, and it turns blue. So he's trying to paint his thing blue to escape. What's the car's parking spot number? 16, 6, 68, 88. Probably turn it upside down. It becomes 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. So it's going to be 87. Haha. <laughs> wow, oh, that was really quick. All right, guys. Help this puppy to fall asleep. So uh, this one, you got to turn your phone over and lay it on a flat surface. So. Have it sideways and just kind of lay it down. No. Oh. Okay, this one's not working that great. Okay, so you have your phone on the side, lean it sideways and then lay it down. That was kind of a weird one. Really tough. Alright, can you find the answer? Zero plus zero plus zero plus Forty, four zero, forty, plus zero plus zero plus fifty plus zero plus zero plus six. All right, so there's a line break there. That's that the zeros are still there. So forty and fifty is ninety, ninety six. Finally, a number one that I I could figure out. Catch the bee. So he'll just kind of move around, and if you fire at him. He'll dodge it. So what you need to do is wait till he moves kind of in front. Take your little ring up there and put it around him and hit the fire button there. There we go. Unbelievably brilliant. Catch the ball when it's going towards the left. Okay, so just tap on them when they're going that way. Move one glass to form the sequence. All right, empty, uh, half, half, empty, half, half. There we go, move that one up there. Impressive, that was indeed a tough one. No, that was an easy one. Type the first number that has A in its spelling. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, I think it's a thousand, a thousand, as a sand. Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm impressed. You're great with the numbers and vocabulary. You have to reach point A on time. All right, let's see. That's not going very good. Okay, so it's like these little tire things. Just kind of drag them over so they're actually on the rail part. Drag those 
And now let's see, bigger wheels should be able to get there a little faster. Yeah, I just made it in time. Find the firefly in the room. All right, well, it's 9 a.m., so let's tap the a.m. till it's p.m. And then we see that you can drag the panda out of the way and then tap on the firefly. There we go. Height of creative thinking. Shoo shoo, get rid of these mice. All right, so I just kind of expanded on the biggest mouse in the right hand upper corner and the cat appeared. So not sure, that's all I did. So I put my fingers together and kind of spread them apart on the big mouse and that cat part came over like that. Okay, how do you open this door? Well, there's that little, there's a little button on the door, just kind of swipe up or down on that little uh, red button there. Swipe up and down on that and it turns into green. I think that's how I did it. Can you decipher the code to unlock the door? Up M heart. That up M heart. Uh... All right, looks like back-to-back -back numbers, a four and a four, one and one, and a two and a two. Four, four, one, one, two, two. All right, they're just mirror images of themselves. And there you go. Turn on the fan. All right, put one finger on one end and one finger on the other. No, that didn't do it. Okay, how do I stretch that cord? All right, stretch it over and then uh, put your fingers on the ends there. All right, can you help him run? You swipe right over where that door just appeared and then you tap on the door and a policeman appears and then he runs. So that was really a tough one. Level 89, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock is zero. Paper is five. Scissors is two. Ha! You made it look so easy for you to do. Level 90, help the horse to break free. You want to just shake your phone back and forth, and that box should be uh, swinging back and forth too. There it is. Just gonna shake your phone. That box should be breaking. Uh, tilt it back and forth and shake it. There we go. Horse galloped away in the field thanks to you. Help the fox eat grapes. All right, so the grapes are right there, but I need a longer platform or something. Okay, so jump over and then drag that other platform in front of the others. And tap on the jump box to jump. You're really smart as a fox. Tap the ball when it passes through the blue. All right, well, there's no blue here, so we just drag this away, and there's a blue one there. And then when the ball's there, in the blue area, tap the area. Wow, that was incredibly brilliant. Help him jump the hurdle. All right, so start. I need to jump it, so let's get this policeman. Uh, put him over there and let go, and he those kids get off the ramp there. Take the ramp, put it in front of the hurdle, and hit start. There we go, jump right over there. You did it, you crossed the hurdle. Right. Which one is the real donkey? So is it this one? 
Alright, just move the little guy, move the donkey over and move the guy behind it and he kicks it. What do you call a donkey that refuses to move? That's right. Color the shapes completely. Alright, so drag this over into that one, drag this over into there, and... No, so we need half of a circle thing here. Let's drag that over the side. And then drag it in there. Haha! -ha. Nice and creative and innovative at the same time. The girl's bicycle is moving backward. Mm. Help her pedal forward. Alright, so grab your fingers on the outside of the screens and push your pinch them together and hit the mm. play button. Mm. Actually, hit the stop button mm. and then hit the play button. Okay, really, now you can see her rolling. So pinch the screen from left to right in together, and that brings up that little bar there, and you can hit the stop button. The stops are from moving backwards, and hit the play button. Take all the teddy bears out of the box. There's five. There's probably more than so let's turn it upside down. And shake the box. Turn the phone upside down and shake it and the other teddy ball bear falls out. Now that's what you call thinking out of the box. Okay, so which of the following three is a magnet? Looks like the magnet goes up to all of them, so what we want to do is, is put your fingers on each end of this and just kind of rotate your fingers around. So, to get it turned so the south is that way. And then you Put it up to the other piece of the bar and oh, it pushes that one away. So that one is a magnet. So put your fingers on each end and then just kind of up that magnet. This is north and south and rotate your fingers around. Puzzles like that, like these, always attract people. How can you refresh the screen? So click on the mouse and it pulls up uh, sort by refresh. Mm. Mm. And then, uh, so click on it, and then it brings up that little windows, and click on it again, and it brings up a little hourglass, and then hit that, uh, the uh, green button down the left-hand corner of the screen, the refresh button to refresh the level, and it refreshes the screen. This one was twisted, but you cracked it. What will be the time after 30 minutes? All right, so the clock says click on enter answer. It's going to show you the time that is actually your clock on your phone. So it's 121. So after 30 minutes, just tap on the clock on that one, and it gives you the hour hand. And then 121, it's going to be 151. So go up to there, just drag it up to 151, hit OK, and submit. So it's actually the time on your clock. It shows you when you uh, click on that thing what time it is, and then just go a half hour after that real quick, and then hit submit. If it doesn't say it's right, then the, probably the time changed while you were doing the thing. So just do another, redo it again, and uh, put in the time a half hour later. All right, quick, light this firecracker. Okay, so I got a battery here. If we put a metal bar on a battery should get hot. Okay, so it put the match on there and you just kind of move that and it uh, moves that around and lights the match on fire and then take the match. Put it on the firework. And there we go, it lights it. So you gotta leave the match on there for a little bit. You did it, you turned electric energy into fire with a conductor.